you're a voluptuous psychiatrist. I hope you don't mind me noticing. Hi. I'm Dunqueer the Greatest. I won't tell you about the 5,000 female comedians I have taken to bed. Probably to show them your joke. Calm down a bit, Dunqueer, or I'll have to give you tranquilizers. I'm, as my sign says, Dr. Ophelia Fleabody. Why are you here today? Of course, I am a sane man, but my problem is that I always tell Asian women that I am slightly Chinese. That pleases them until they decide that I am lying. Compulsive liars are always found out, except for me. Did they feed you rice to find out if you were Chinese? But I have believed that grandma was descended from some Chinese person who was probably male or female at parties. What you are saying makes a lot of sense, Dunqueer. To me, my Auntie Beryl and my cousin Ted looked a bit Asian. From the side, they both had the same facial profile as an Indo-Chinese female friend I had. Anything's possible in the big bad world of bedding female comedians. Further, we used to say that our sister Jasmine was our Chinese sister who needed soy sauce added to improve her taste. At least, she knew she was appreciated. Most of my relatives are proud of their Irish heritage. A little egotism does a human a lot of good. Shocking everybody, I am prouder of my Chinese heritage that probably doesn't exist except in my brain that's definitely Chinese. As your psychiatrist, I must tell you that you must sit for a very difficult test. You, as a Chinese person, to remain in this country, must sit for the bloody else English test. Suddenly, I'm not part Chinese. See my European eyes. Your incessant ravings, done queer, have indicated to me, as your psychiatrist, that you need a few months in the psychiatric unit and a lot of antipsychotic drugs. Lucky me, 